After three hours of deliberation, a jury from Davidson County uh, handed down a verdict uh, on the fate of Latavis Cobbins. They decided to spare his life and impose a sentence of life without parole, which means he will die behind bars. We, the jury, unanimously find that the state has proven the following listed statutory aggravating circumstances beyond a reasonable doubt. The murder was especially heinous, atrocious, and cruel in that it involved the torture and serious physical abuse beyond that necessary to produce death. The murder was committed for the purpose of avoiding, interfering with, and preventing a lawful arrest and prosecution of the defendant and others. The murder was knowingly aided by the defendant while the defendant had a substantial role in committing and fleeing after having a substantial role in committing the rape of Shannon Christian by oral penetration the kidnapping of Shannon Christian, the robbery of Shannon Christian, and the robbery of Hugh Christopher Newsom. We, the jury, unanimously find that such statutory aggravating circumstance or circumstances do not outweigh any mitigating circumstance or circumstances beyond a reasonable doubt. Therefore, we, the jury, unanimously agree that the defendant shall be sentenced to imprisonment for life without the possibility of parole. Kim and I, all of us, are glad that it's uh, reached its conclusion. Um, we're Certainly happy that the jury spared his life. Um, like I said, the focus doesn't need to be on us. It needs to be on these folks over here. This has been a really hard experience for these families. They've had to see photos of their loved ones and the injuries that they suffered, and it's been a very emotional time for them. So their initial reaction um, was anger. District Attorney's Office did a great job, I want to say that. Yeah, they Before did. We get off of here, they, they did a great job. They got the conviction. It ain't the district attorney's office that let us down. No, they showed the proof and the jury let us down. It ain't the, the district attorney's office down. that let Shannon down. And it ain't the district attorney's office that let, Ch that let Chris down. Who did let them down? The jury. The jury. I mean, yeah, okay, they put him away for life. Okay, that satisfies me in one way. Your kids and your kids and your kids ain't gonna get raped and tortured by Latalvis Cobbins. I mean, you okay. go to prison anymore and they can sit there, they can play poker, they can play racquetball, they can do whatever they want. Why, why would they be scared to go back? They it's get, like a they hotel, food, with, they, they just can't leave those four walls. beautiful landscape. They got a barber shop with a barber pole out there on it. Prison ain't what people think it is. It's a joke. Think about it. The liberal thinking people in this country has turned it into a dead gum girl school. I don't want to go there. The sheriff don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. It ain't a place for normal people, but for that bunch, he just got a lifetime great hotel sentence. Is what he just it moved down from to. the slums. He moved up a few notches. He's so. still gonna have a life. He's gonna get to do whatever he wants to. He can have him a little girl boy over here, or somebody can have him for a little girl boy. They do drugs. I ain't stupid. I've been to a maximum security prison, have you? The wardens, hands are tied. Because the people that don't, place. you know, the people that think that we need to take care of our prisoners and they should have more rights and they should have this, well, where were our rights? Where were Shannon and Chris's rights when they did what they did? Do you think then you guys got justice today? I know all along I've talked to you, you said you want nothing but no, death. No, you did. You got justice. Because your your child, you, uh, if you have children, will not be hurt by this monster. You got justice. And, and for y'all, I'm glad. For the citizens of this community, I'm glad. But do we get justice? No. We never yeah, get to see our child again. They the get pictures? to go see him if they want to, but we never get to see our Did child. Did you see again. the pictures? Mm -hmm. You think we got justice? Maybe putting somebody away for life where they can't come out on the street and do all their gang banging stuff is what is, is is good enough for the community. But they took our daughter. They raped her, they murdered her, they tortured her. They didn't just kill her. They tortured her. Then they killed her. And what then they stuffed think? her in a trash can and left her to die. What do you think justice is? I guarantee you if it was your child or your child or anybody else's child, you'd want more. 
We're disappointed in the decision. We, we really wanted the death penalty. I think the jury let us down, and they let Chris and Shannon down. Uh, when he goes to prison now, he'll, he'll be getting a home. We've given him a home. So uh, what's the punishment? He's what's that tell everybody else out there that commits the same crime? that they won't get the death penalty, that they'll just get put in prison f for life. I think the jury has let us down. I really do. He has raised his le standard of living by at least a factor of 100. Uh, he no longer has to steal to eat. He gets three, meal, three hot meals a day that's certified by a nutritionist that they're ample in nutrition. He uh, gets a warm cot to sleep on. He'll be allowed to have a TV in his room. He can have stereo. Uh, he gets free dental care. He gets free health care. I mean, uh, what else could you ask for? There's no deterrent whatsoever in, in that verdict, in that penalty. None whatsoever. And, and uh, the only, only thing we realize out of it is at least he will be locked up the rest of his life out of everyday society, and your kids will be safe. Your kids will be safe from anyone like Mr. Cobbins. Do you think? Do you think at all that that the uh, testimony that they heard from uh, Cobbins' relatives today? Do you think that that swayed the jury at all? I really do. I, I think they believed everything that they told him. And um, I think that relatives really put out a good act. If they were so concerned about him, why aren't they here? Why didn't they wait for the verdict? They just took off right after they testified. That's not, that's not what someone who cares would do. Why didn't his dad show up? He, he, he doesn't care. They didn't sway me. Uh, one, one young lady, she could turn on her tears and turn them off just like a faucet. So. I mean, uh, uh, I know he had a tough childhood. There's a lot of us that's had tough childhoods, but he made the wrong choices. And uh, now we have a, a, a uh, sentence uh, that has no deterrent, and, uh, but the only compromise, the only consolation is at least he's off the street. Your kids will be safe, from him anyway. Do you feel like the system failed you? Well, we, we talked about it. I think the fact is the jury made the issue in selecting the jury was could you render the death penalty? Every one of those serving on the jury said yes. When it came time to mark the paper, no. They failed us in that respect. The uh, evidence was there. It was presented in a very good manner. The Criminal Responsibility Act covered it appropriately. Uh, they just, they came with no intention of rendering the death sentence. When I was told the to make up, I predicted this, and I believe I was 100% correct. I'll leave it at that. Anything you'd want to say to the jury? To the jury? Yes, sir. You let us down. You, you told us in Nashville you could do it, but when it came time to do it, you couldn't. And that's, that's what it amounts to. I would tell them that, that, um, that he, was, he was just as bad as, as his brother and that he was in it just as much as his brother and, and Eric Boyd and Thomas and all of them. They were all in it together. It was a group thing. I think they should have all been accused of it and all guilty of murder. I think they slighted Chris when they, they gave him facilitation. I, I felt very slighted this morning when we couldn't get up and say anything about him. Very disappointed in that respect. And uh, I just think that uh, it's, it's a disappointing trial.